Hello everyone. Now we will take a look on how you can create a callout tag, which will be referencing the view name and not other types of parameters. Now I'm in the Revit basic sample project from the Autodesk. And here in my typical wall section, you can see that they use this detail view callout, which is referencing this typical wall roof connection, which we can see here. Now here in this callout tag or callout head, you can see that it is referencing the detail number of this view and the number of the sheet it is placed at, so this one. So let's say that I do not want to show these in my callout tag, but I want to show the name of this detail view. So how can I do that? First, I will need to check the family that this is used in this callout tag, which we can see that is this callout head with corner radius. If I go to this family, you can see that the callout head it is using is the metric callout head, metric callout. So I will go now to my families under the annotation symbols. You can see that I have here metric callout head. If I go into the family itself, you can see that now I am in the family editor. This is the family of this callout head. And you can see that here I have my labels for the number and for the sheet. So let's just change this. You can see I have my detail number for callouts, my reference label, my referencing detail, my referencing sheet and my sheet number, but there is no view name. So how can I actually get my label to be showing me the view name of the view I'm trying to reference? We will take a look on this right now because there is one workaround in Revit how you can get this label to be referencing the view name of the callout. So we will go to the file, new, family. I will use the English template, annotations, and we will use the metric section head, family. So it is looking something like this. I will just delete this note. I will also delete this one. And now in my label, I will create a label from the sections where you can see that I have my view name here. So I will put it inside my label. So now I have created a label with the view name. So it will be referencing the view name. I will just align this to the left. And if I try to use this one now in the project, I would not be able to do this because this is not the callout head, but the section tag. So if I go here or section mark, you can see that if I go here and I now try to change this, let's say that I would now change it to my callout head. Hit OK. You can see that I am still seeing the view name, so it looks like it should be OK. But if I go inside the label, you can see that it actually changed the parameter which is referencing and now it is referencing the detail number and not the view name. So I am at the beginning where I was. So I will go back now, undo this change. So I will be still in a section mark. So my label is still referencing the view name. And now comes the tricky part. You can just copy this to clipboard by hitting the Zotarello plus C or copying from here. Now if I delete this and I change now my category to be not the section mark but the callout head, like this. And now if I pass from clipboard to current view because I still have my label with the view name in my clipboard. So I passed it to this new view and now you can see that I have a family of the callout head. I have a label here and if I go inside the label, you can see that it is referencing the view name and not other parameters. So this way I was able to create a callout head with the label, which is referencing the view name. So now if I load this into my project, 
my basic sample project and I create another callout tag here. Let's just duplicate this one and say view name. And I will use for this one my new family, which I now just created, my family 2. Hit OK. Hit OK. You can see that now it is referencing the view name of this callout or of this view and not other parameters. So if I do not like the positioning, I can just go here and change this to be more as I want it. Override the existing and I can play with like the border and stuff. But now you can see that this is actually parametric. So if I change this to be not typical war of connection, but let's say detail one, you can see that it is referencing the view name of this callout now. So this is the way how you can create a callout head or callout tag with the view name in it.